here with Dominaire Media. I just have a question for Dominaire. Uh, being that you're uh, a youth association, what is the difference now that you are an actual show from being on YouTube? What is the difference now? Well, um, it's it's definitely a blessing. It's amazing. I, it's just it's a matter of growing with a lot of people who are extremely talented who have been in the industry for many years and allowing yourself to learn from all of them. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's just been amazing. The opportunity to work with such a wonderful director who is just so well known and to learn and to take, you know, what, what you did on your own and to take that art and let someone else. Are you looking you know, for your phone? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so that, it, it's just been a blessing. It's been amazing. It's been an awesome opportunity and I'm, I'm so humbled and honored to work with such talented individuals who just make them, me so much better and everyone so much better. They, they're awesome. A big round of applause for you. <laughs> That's going to be now um, watching the show. I actually have two questions. First question will be, um, what can you promise that you're going to be giving the viewers this season coming on with the show? And the second question is, more personally, what did you gain as just through your characters on bringing on to the show? Like, What was the personal gain that you got from being a character on the show? And this is from the Couture Lifestyle. I'm going for the second question a little bit. <laughs> uh, well, the first thing, I'll make it short, the first thing you're going you're gonna to see as viewers coming along the journey of the second season is something we may have missed in our first go around, which is heart. You're going to laugh. It's going to be just as funny as it was before, if not funnier. But now we've got that grounding in truth and a lot of heart centered around Miss Kendra C. Johnson um, and her storyline, which is fantastic. Um, the thing that I've gained from my character, um, a lot of free drinks. <laughs> I'll, I'll take both. A lot of free, a lot of free drinks. Um, unlike Tyler Leslie, I can, I can, I can hold two mics. Um, no, it, it's been a lot of fun. The fans, the fans. Uh, one time, uh, Andre and I were in a. Uh, we're in uh, a mall in Atlanta, and a, a young couple came up to us, and they were so sweet, and they said, you guys are in love thy neighbor, and we're like, uh, yeah, and they handed us their kids. <laughs> <laughs> they took photos, uh, thank God they didn't leave, but they took photos of us. <laughs> well, I thought they, I thought they, they were so in love to with you. <laughs> um, I guess you could, um, from the first season, there was a lot of laughs, and um, it was just, it was so much craziness going on, but it was just such a blessing. But I think the second season, you'll definitely see more heart and a lot more love. Love for everyone, but more of like for the love of yourself. And that was like, that was really a blessing. It's like when you go through something in real life, you play it on TV. Mm, it is, it's good. But um, Danny, I love that guy. I, I love him. How he sees the world, everything. I'm so grateful for him because he's just like a little kid trapped in a grown man's body with the best friend who sleeps and drinks. I mean, everybody. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful. Oh, wow. Uh, I, you know what they said. I just, uh, I'm, I'm learning well, this season to trust myself. Um, Mark and Ozzy, everybody knows 
when I, this is my first time ever doing television, and I was terrified because I didn't think that I would live up to Tyler's expectation. I wouldn't live up to Oprah's or, and I, I, I just didn't think I had it in me. Theater, I do that all day. That's me, that's what I do. But to do television, um, I just needed them to guide me and to take my hand and told, tell me exactly what it is to do and to tone it down, when to, to do whatever. And I was just horrified. And then after the, I guess the third, maybe second uh, episode, I finally, you know, learned to trust them. And this season, I trust myself. I trust what they, what they did in me. I trust, I trust what God has given me. God has given me a gift. He's given me a talent. Never went to school for it. Never, never done anything as far as on the educational uh, level for what I do. It's just a gift. Gift is just a talent, and I'm grateful for Tyler. I'm grateful, grateful for Oprah for believing in me. You know what I'm saying? For giving me the opportunity to deliver what Tyler goes to the heavens to get, and I honestly believe he goes to the throne room to get what it is that we're supposed to deliver and give to the people of the world. Somebody like myself from Camden, Alabama, <laughs> right, Camden, Alabama, there's only like 2,200 people, and only 100 and some people graduated from my high school, and of them, only 40 got diplomas, me being one of them. And y'all laughing, but I'm so damn serious. Um, but uh, that, that's one thing that you can expect from this is uh, a little bit more cohesiveness. We've actually trying to figure out, and like she was saying, she trusts herself. We're starting to trust each other. You know, actually, to be honest with you, there was a little bit of fighting going on in the first season, you know, and that comes with, you know, adopted brothers and sisters. You know, you know, you kind of like, you know, I really want to just bust this m in his head, you know, but, you know, at the same time, I got to work with him and everything, you know, because I didn't know I was going to be working with Dwayne Johnson's son. So it was, it was just, it was amazing, you know. We, we call him Pebbles instead of The Rock. So it was just amazing to be able to finally work with him. You know, and, and, we, and I really do enjoy working with him now. And, uh, I guess one of the advantages that I've had as far as being here with this cast is that um, I really do enjoy being able to go to work, work with these in enormously talented people and I can actually go home and lay in my own bed at the end of the night. I can take my son to baseball practice. I've been a coach for Little League Baseball ball for the last year because they've enabled me to be able to do this. You know, and so in, I'm a 25 year overnight success. A lot of people see right now, they didn't see the process, but yeah. it's all come full circle because this is the same person that was on those buses that had no heat. Same person where we had freight uh, 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 blankets to cover ourselves going cross country. Same person that the bus driver was falling asleep behind the wheel where I learned how to drive Man. a bus illegally because wow. the, the guy that was driving the bus wow. was high on crack. Wow. You know, and this is a true story. This is nothing I'm making up. So, you know, these are the things. That, and to come to a position to where someone trusts us, to where we can go in and do a show. I'm actually on TV. I grew up in a place where I only had two channels on my TV. It was black and white. And the only time we got the third channel is if it rained that night and the antenna was turned the right way. I was the designated antenna turner. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, and it sounds funny, but I'm speaking from, from, a, from a real deep truth. You just don't understand from where we've all come from. We all have different stories, but this thing is real. I'm telling you right now, if you don't trust God for anything else, you definitely need to learn. I don't know what you believe in. You definitely turn the right way that you believe in. You better try the right one, but I'm just trying to tell you. you know, because you, either that or you better have some, some fire insurance going to hell. And the, and the one thing I did gain from tonight is that I, I got a new cell phone. I don't know whose phone this is. <laughs> But they asked me to take pictures, and I don't know who's going to do it. So, so thank you, because my son just lost his, so we're going to take the chip out. So,
I'm actually kind of lost. I don't remember where we were, but uh, it just seems like we're, we're talking about the experience and about the roles and all that. Um, all I can say is that when I first came in, I was like a few of my castmates, very confused, kind of lost didn't know exactly which direction my character was going, but uh, everyone made everyone made you feel so at home. And I am so thankful for all of these people, and I'm thankful for Tyler, and I'm thankful for each of our producers, who just helped in aiding us in knowing what our role was within the sitcom. And Palmer is so right, this season, you guys have a lot to look forward to because we really learned how to gel with each other and how to just, uh, I don't know, we, we all know what kind of humor we're going to bring into each scene. And so that allows you to set it up and to set up the punchline for someone else and it, to play your position. She's so good. She always feeds me my lines. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's been absolutely amazing. It's been so great. And I, I think I, I paved the way enough for you, won't you? Come on in now, sister. <laughs> Is it white? You charge a white purse. We said we were going to When I came in that. by the uh, <laughs> culture, <laughs> I saw a plug We're on a sitcom. It's not sustainable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't need the money. Um, okay, so I, I don't think there's anything different I can say about what you can expect from this season. Um, I think they all uh, did a great job of giving you an idea of what you can expect, but um, what I didn't expect was everything <coughs> that everything that um every place it took me i guess um this season and when i tell you that my hope is that when you watch these episodes and you see the um, places we go the things we experience together because I mean they, they spoke about it being about my storyline and it is but the beautiful part is every it's it's, it's our family's storyline yeah. because it's what we experienced together and it's how we even the people who wish they were a part of the family. <laughs> um, you know but but in in, in so yeah you, you you get you get to see us all. I don't know what the, mm, you get to see us all um, ex, just experience it together as as a cohesive family, and we take you from one place along a journey that you'll be able to follow with us. Stay with us <laughs> to the end because it just it gets it gets better and better. Um, The one thing that I that I can say about working with this group of people and on this show is that um, the greatest lesson that I've pulled from all this is Mr. Perry has That's shown me what it looks like, what it really looks like to truly believe in myself. Yes, mm. From the first <coughs> season, um, he told, when he told me I had to trust him, because as a lot of the others have said, I didn't know what the heck we were doing. And I just wasn't sure that I was giving him what he was looking for. He trusted me to get there. And I had to trust him, trust that, that, that he knew what he was doing. And, um, and that, and that if I just believed in me at least as much as he does, there's nothing I can't do. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, 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 been the, that's been the greatest lesson. And I just want to share with you all, um, 
really briefly when, when Palmer talks about um, being able to come to work and go home and be in your bed and, and, and be present in your children's lives. Um, for 10 years, I lived in Los Angeles, 3,000 miles away from my daughter, pursuing this career. And um, after those 10 years, I got this job with Mr. Perry and these wonderful people. And I now work <laughs> 20 minutes away from where my daughter is in college. Mm -hmm. Wow. That alone show, has, um, has really shown me evidence of Mr. Perry's obedience to God. Mm -hmm. And through that, each of our journeys have been affected in the specific way that God intended for them. And I am truly grateful. Wow. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. We have a question here. Um, my name is Cynthia Warner, and I'm Chief of Hip Hop Weekly. Hey, I thought the uh, my question is all of you are from different walks of life, and now you're all together in one area um, making this beautiful show. So tell me. If each of you could tell me what qualities you bring that has enhanced your ability to all gel together and be one big happy TV show. I think alcohol brought a lot of us <laughs> <laughs> mutually. <laughs> Like Grand Monier, we'll be accepting donations at the bar after this. But I would say, as far as the cohesiveness, it's just a general silliness between all of us, for one thing. Uh, and everybody is so talented individually. And you know, as you can tell from a lot of championship teams, you know, you can have one big breakout star, and you can have one person that everybody centered around that one person, and they never seem to quite get to the championship. But when everybody starts passing the ball, starts, you know, assisting the other, when you start going over and having sleepovers in dressing rooms to learn lines, when you go over to people's apartments and start running lines, when you're like running back and forth in the parking lot, you still sit in the parking lot running lines, and you know, and doing things like that, and just knowing that, you know, well maybe Palmer doesn't know all his lines today, so hey, um, you know, they kind of slide it like, like John and look, I'm like, hey man, want to run lines? I was like, cool, you know, so I do it. And then it's, there's one, yeah, but no, he's very persistent, very consistent too. And that's, that's one thing that, you know, we all are a team and it has to get to the point where we're all working together because if we just have that one individual star all the time, then, you know, we're not working together as a team because the best star of a show is the actual show. So if you're able to have the show being the star, then you know you have something that's in the making of being something for a long period of time. So I mean, I really in, enjoy them because for some reason I'm actually the, the oldest person in the cast, but by being 38. And, um, <laughs> in that, you know, sometimes I may not remember my lines so much, and it's not Alzheimer's or anything like that. They have turned the mic off on you, which means you're done. <laughs> no. We, we, the bottom line is we all love each other. We enjoy working with each other. I mean, uh, on, on set, off set, we, we chill, we hang out, we have a good time. That's even with uh, Tyler from, from the top down. Um, for any house, home, or whatever to be a home, you've had, got to have a head. Tyler Oprah is the head and we're just falling up under the umbrella, and we're all glad, we're all appreciative to be working and have jobs. There's a lot of people that didn't have work, a lot of people that have, a, you know, can't support their family, but it's a blessing that we're in the, in the position 
we're able to bring laughter and drama to you, to all the homes. And we're just grateful and we're glad and we know you've been here a long time and we're tired and <laughs> we're grateful and we thank Ozzy once again, Mark Swinton, Will, his lovely wife, everybody for coming and supporting us. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah.